Hey everyone, I'm here to show you my August book haul. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized with my videos, so I'm probably going to do one or two book hauls a month. Um, and so this will be the book haul at the beginning of the month, and if I buy any other books throughout the month, I'll just include it in my August wrap-up. Um, so let me just get to it. I have my books here, and uh, yeah. On Saturday, I went with my aunt downtown, and we went to go have lunch, and then we went to an independent bookstore that was in the area. I don't remember the name of the bookstore. Um, I'll look it up, and then I'll include it in the description box below. Um, and it was really, really nice in there. I really um, liked it. Uh, I didn't have a lot of money to really buy all the books that I wanted to buy. So um, since I wanted to support the store, I bought one paperback book and a journal, which I'll show to you now. I got The Book of Madness and Cures, which is a historical fiction novel about a woman whose father is a doctor and he teaches her um, how to practice medicine, but he goes missing and without him there to oversee her, I guess her medicinal practice or whatever. Um, uh, she can't treat any patients, so she goes looking for him throughout Europe. It takes place in the 16th century, and um, it seems really, really interesting. Um, I think I was mostly drawn to the book by the title, but I think the cover is really interesting too. I don't know if you can see it, if I'm holding it at the right angle or not. But um, yeah, so I really hope to get to this soon, because I really love historical fiction, and I don't really get to read a lot of it. The journal that I bought is this one. It's got a cat on it attacking a book page as the owner, I presume the owner, the human at least, is turning it. And in the back it has the cat attacking a pen. It's sticky because it had a sticker and I tried unsuccessfully to remove it. Uh, I mean, I did remove the sticker, but I did not remove the sticky backing. So, it's gross, the residue. Um, but it's a really, really cute journal and it was really, really nice. I also bought another book at that bookstore, but I'll do it at the end of the haul because it isn't actually for me. Um, so yeah, so it was really cute. While I was at the bookstore, I saw two books that I really, really wanted to read, but I was unable to purchase them because they were hardcover and I didn't have $30 to spend on each book. So when I went home, I looked up the prices online, and of course it was much cheaper, so I decided to buy them online. Um, and since I was already buying stuff online, I bought other books <laughs> online also. Um, and I'll show you what that looked like, me opening the packages, which I just got today. I approached the box with yellow scissors. There are three boxes, actually. Two small and one big. I attack with the yellow scissor. Open. 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 Done. Now, I move on to the second box. It gives me a little bit of trouble, but I win anyway. Now, on to the final box, the biggest one. Be sure to take out all of the stuffing and the advertisements creepy face. And the books that I got in the packages were We Need New Names and Finn and Lady. These are the two that I saw in the bookstore but couldn't afford without the discount. Um, Finn and Lady is about a young boy whose parents die and he has to move to New York City with his much older half-sister and she is essentially going to raise him. However, she's not the most responsible person and he winds up taking care of her just as much as she winds up taking care of him. So, um, I really, really love the cover. It's really, really pretty. And it's signed, which is exciting. I bought it signed from online, so nice. Um, and it's actually the same exact price to get it signed. So, yeah, it's really nice. I like to have signed books. I don't know why, but I do. I don't really care if it's not signed, but I always get a little bit happier when it is signed. And the other book, We Need New Names, is about a girl who um, immigrates from Zimbabwe to America and is pretty much going through all these changes and trying to adapt to her new home. So, um, yeah, and I really like the cover. I like the airplane. I like the back. It's really, really beautiful in general. 
and uh, I hadn't heard of it before I saw it in the bookstore, so I was really excited because I just hadn't heard much about it. I did hear about Thin and Lady, but I didn't hear about this one. The next two books that I got are by the same author, and I wanted to read them for a while, but I wasn't uh, able to. It wasn't I wasn't able to, actually. Every time that I was going to buy it, I wound up buying something else. So after I saw The Violinist Thumb in the bookstore that I was at on Saturday, it just like stuck in my mind, and so I bought The Disappearing Spoon. I bought The Disappearing Spoon. I couldn't remember the title for a second. But I bought The Disappearing Spoon and The Violinist Thumb. Um, this one's about DNA, and this one's about the periodic table. So I am really excited. The next two books were books that were on my wish list, um, and they were labeled as being from um, books that I'd seen in videos. So I'm going to go back and try to figure out which video I saw them both in. But um, yeah, so and then I'll leave a link in the description box. I can't remember which video I saw them in, though. Well, I do have an idea which one it might be, but I really don't know. Anyway, um, so I have Jamrax, Jamrax, I think that's how you say it, Managery. Managery. I actually don't know how to say that word. I've read it, and yet I don't think I've ever said it out loud. So, yeah. But it's about a boy that winds up working for um, an importer of exotic, exotic animals, and um, yeah, he, uh, I guess he goes on a whaling expedition, and the last sentence says, Jamrak's Managerie is a truly gripping novel about friendship, sacrifice, and survival. I'm actually going to look up how to pronounce the word after I'm done filming, so, yeah. I'll let you know if I'm saying it correctly, or you can let me know. And the next one that I have is The Illicit Happiness of Other People. I really like this cover. I think it's cute. I like the drawings. Um, it's about a family who have lost um, one of their sons, um, and then the father finds, uh, or it's the post office delivers a comic that the son drew, and the father goes looking to understand his son. And um, it actually sounds like it's really, really good. So I'm excited about it. I keep saying that I'm excited about it. To be honest, I just get excited about books in general. It could probably be, if it's not going to be that great, I'll still be happy. And the last book that I bought was also a book that I bought at the bookstore, and it's How Dinosaurs Eat Their Food, and I bought it for the kids because they, I don't know, mostly I bought it because I like it, um, and it's a kid's book, and so they can read it. I actually have read um, the other two books, actually there are four books in the series, but I don't remember the fourth book's um, title. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? How do dinosaurs get well soon? And um, yeah, it's by Jane Yolen, and um, I really like it. I like that the pictures have the names of each dinosaur somewhere in them. Like this one is on the refrigerator. And if only I knew how to pronounce all the dinosaurs' names, there would be no confusion, but I don't. So I mostly have to guess and hope the kids don't notice. Um, but yeah, but it's really cute. It kind of teaches the kids about what's bad behavior to teach them not to do it, in a way. Um, which might not be very helpful. I don't really think that works. But it's a really cute book to read to the kids and, of course, to have discussions with them in general just to talk about what they're seeing and what they would do if they were in the situation of not liking the food on their plate or wanting to play instead of eat, which happens all the time with them. So. Um, yeah, so I really like this book. I actually haven't read it. I read the other two, but I didn't, I didn't read this one. I should have read it to them today, but I didn't, so we'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, those are all of the books that I bought. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you read any of the books that I got or are interested in them, please let me know in a comment below, and um, I'll see you later. Bye! Full titles are The Violinist Thumb and Other Lost Tales of Love, War, and Genius, as written by our genetic code, and The Disappearing Spoon, and Other True Tales of Madness, Love, and the History of the World from the Periodic Table of Elements. So, yeah, I really like the covers actually. I like that they match. I get really excited when books covers match.